a lot of times when alcohol use um, impacts an individual, it doesn't happen overnight. There's usually a series of problematic behaviors, a constellation that really gets to the point where it's starting to affect their career. But what's important to see the early signs. This can be basically like sleep disruption, and then you're going into work basically groggy and not fully there. Other things is basically you're starting to notice time management issues. You're going to work later. You need to just basically leave work early, earlier. You're forgetting deadlines too as well. Or when you're there, you just don't really want to be there. You know, there's these important meetings. You're talking with several colleagues. There's a lot of pressure, but then your first thought is, I just don't want to be here as well. Other things too is that we know that alcohol use in the sh short run does address anxiety and depression, but it actually makes anxiety and depression wor worse. So what ends up happening is that you start to have more anxiety in the workplace. And then when you add in critical deadlines, information that's needed to be um, consolidated together, your anxiety will go up. Then also when you don't feel like you are um, addressing this, then this leads to depressed moods. And of course, what ends up happening is that at home, you're drinking more to address these anxiety and depression it becomes this vicious cycle. Well, luckily, there's um, actually a lot of tools and treatment that are out there, and it doesn't matter what type of drinking that you have, whether it's binge, heavy, or you're drinking beer, wine, or spirits. Um, Rhea Health actually is a great example of a place that able to help individuals with whatever style of drinking that they have, but also in the privacy of their own home, and they don't have to take time away from work. Um, these tools can be basically basic screeners to help people understanding where their risk levels are. Other things is basically skills buildings and education to basically find other ways to cope with stress besides alcohol. And other things are using medications that are FDA approved, backed by science, things that are normally called evidence-based interventions, but that's basically another term for programs that work, that programs that have shown to produce positive effects. But these are basically medical interventions that people can take in the privacy of their own home. And with consistency and monitoring for about 30 days, they're able to reduce their drinking and have much more control. Luckily, the um, cost for treatment for an outpatient program using medication, it's only a fraction of cost for residential and much more easier to get. A lot of times individuals always talk about cost for treatment and medical interventions, but a lot of times it, most programs such as Real Health, they're able to work with you with your benefits, you're able to work with your FSA or HSA card too as well. Or a lot of times I ask like, well, there's also a hidden cost with alcohol in terms of time that you're not at work, time away from your family, time away from your creativity, from your productivity, that actually has a much more detrimental cost in the short and long run. So a lot of times when you look at it, it's cost for treatment, it's actually an investment for yourself.